We'll take it home. We will debark the log from end to end a few inches. So you can see we started debarking it. And then we will pound on it with the backside of a very old axe. And you have to hit just as hard as you're chopping wood. And for those of you who know who would act, um, the back of an axe looks like, it's about an inch in width. So we actually have to pound and overlap and pound. So you're only going down the length of a six foot log, eight foot log, about a half inch at a time. So it's a very laborious process. We have to hit it exactly flat. If that axe does not hit flat and it turns either way, it will split our materials. So literally back home, we have less than about 15 people who are proficient at pounding. And thank goodness one of them is my husband. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how we process those growth rings after we get them. You can see this right here. It's like a big clothespin. That's what they call it when I go on the plane. Like, what is that, a big clothespin? I call it a splitter. So we put our growth ring, this is one growth ring, inside of here. I score the top of it, and that growth ring peels apart. On the outside of the growth ring, it's very rough. On the inside of the growth ring, it's very smooth. And that is where we get our basket. So with this here, this one here, the inside of the basket is the outside of the growth ring. You can feel it, it's a little bit rougher. The outside of the basket is the inside of the growth ring. And that's how we begin our basket bottom. I like to use my baskets to share stories and, um, you know, if I wanted to tell you guys a boring story about a bug, you might just be like, oh, bugs, nice, I have to go to the restroom. So, <laughs> what I like to do is draw people in with work, and then have them open up the basket, and then they see the bug, and then they're a little bit more intrigued. So, this basket on the right here is based on the emerald ash borer. We are losing all of our trees in Michigan to the Emerald Ash Borer. We've lost over 500 million trees. He is here in Kansas. He's in 23 states. And he is a beautiful green with a, emerald, I mean with a copper belly. So that is why I make that basket that color. Here is an Emerald Ash Borer. And I have two of them. So you guys can pass those around. But I want you guys to see how small they are. This tiny bug is what's killing over millions and millions and millions of ash trees in the United States. This basket here tells about our treaty rights and why and how I get to harvest these things. So in Michigan, we ceded away two-thirds of the state in the 1836 treaty, and we were promised forever the right to fish, hunt, gather, and do all of the things we did, and we still exercise those rights in Michigan. So when I'm hungry, I weep food. So there's corn, <laughs> strawberries. And one of the most important teaching tools that we have left today is our black ash bark. Because in the future, when we replant seeds, we need to be able to identify our tree to harvest the basket tree. So these bark baskets have become very critical for that. We can only make these baskets for about two, three weeks out of the year. So when the sap is running, and when uh, we make these baskets, we turn them into the little containers here. You let them cure for a few months, and then they're good to go. So I really only get to make about five to 15 a year. In the past, that emerald ash borer will destroy the bark first. Now I get maybe five baskets.